A second area that I do a lot of work in is um, dealing with contaminated properties. And those properties can range from a, a, a home where there's been a heating oil spill to a dry cleaning establishment to a 250-acre site um, that used to be uh, manufacturing of munitions during World War II, which I've been working on for about 16 years. Um, and in that area, in the contaminated property area, um, we have a very complex set of regulations and policies and guidance documents here in Massachusetts. Um, and so I help clients make their way through that regulatory process. Uh, I work with the clients and their environmental consultants um, very, very often in trying to get through that process. Um, sometimes in real estate transactions involving contaminated properties. And some folks may think, well, why do I need an environmental lawyer? I have a real estate lawyer or I have my corporate lawyer. And that may be just fine. There are many real estate and, and business lawyers who do have some, um, some good understanding and knowledge of the environmental issues, but they don't all. And um, I've certainly found in my practice that it's helpful to have an environmental lawyer on board to um, point out things that others may not know about, may have missed, um, things you know that may eventually come back to, um, I don't want to say haunt them, but um, make for some some difficult issues down the road. For example, for a, a subsequent owner of a piece of property where they didn't have the proper protections and indemnifications in place, or something like that. Um, so that's an important part of my practice. Um, litigation involving contaminated properties is also a, a big part of what I do. Um, I help folks with cost recovery actions. Uh, on either side, either folks who are trying to recover costs from responsible parties or um, companies or individuals who've received notice that they may be liable uh, for contaminating uh, a site or for being in the, uh, in the unfortunate situation where they're a successor to a company who may have contaminated a, a site. We have strict liability laws in Massachusetts and elsewhere in the country, so it, it's um, it's challenging, no question about it, for uh, particularly for small companies. Um, but um, again, it's a it's an area that I've worked in for many years and understand well, and um, I and can help clients get through that that process and and litigate if necessary.